Yashar Jasher 32. And at that time, Yaakov sent messengers to his brother Esau toward the land of Seir, and he spoke to him words of supplication. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye say to my lord, to Esau, Thus says your servant Yaakov, Let not my lord imagine that my father's blessing with which he did bless me has proved beneficial to me. For I have been these twenty years with Lavan, and he deceived me and changed my wages ten times, as it has been rather all been already told unto my Lord. And I served him in his house very laboriously. And Elohim afterward saw my affliction, my labor, and the work of my hands. And he caused me to find grace and favor in his sight. And I afterward, through Elohim's great mercy and kindness, acquired oxen and asses and cattle and men servants and maid servants. And now I am coming to my land and my home, to my father and mother, who are in the land of Canaan. And I have sent to let my Lord know all this in order to find favor in the sight of my Lord so that he may not imagine that I have of myself obtained wealth, or that the blessing with which my father blessed me has benefited me. And those messengers went to Esau and found him on the borders of the land of Edom, going toward Yaakov. And four hundred men of the children of Seir, the Chori, were standing with drawn swords. And the messengers of Yaakov told Esau all the words that Yaakov had spoken to them concerning Esau. And Esau answered them with pride and contempt and said unto them, Surely I have heard and truly it has been told unto me what Yaakov has done to Levan, who exalted him in his house and gave him his daughters for women, and he begat sons and daughters, and abundantly increased in wealth and riches in Levan's house through his means. And when he saw that his wealth was abundant and his riches great, he fled with all belonging to him, from Lavan's house. And he led Lavan's daughters away from the face of their father, as captives taken by the sword, without telling him of it. And not only to Lavan has Yaakov done thus, but also unto me has he done so, and has twice supplanted me, and shall I be silent? Now, therefore, I have this day come with my camps to meet him, and I will do unto him according to the, the desire of my heart. And the messengers returned and came to Yaakov and said unto him, We came to your brother, to Esau, and we told him all your words, and thus has he answered us. And behold, he comes to meet you with four hundred men. Now then, know and see what you shall do, and pray before Elohim to deliver you from him. And when he heard the words of his brother, which he had spoken to the messengers of Yaakov, Yaakov was greatly afraid, and he was distressed. And Yaakov prayed to Yahuwah, Eloheu, and he said, O Yahuwah, 
Elohim of my fathers, Avraham and Yitzchak, you did say unto me when I went away from my father's house, saying, I am Yahuwah Elohim of your father, Avraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak. Unto you do I give this land and your seed after you, and I will make your seed as the stars of heaven, and you shall spread forth to the four sides of heaven. And in you and in your seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And you did establish your words and did give unto me riches and children and cattle as the utmost wishes of my heart did you give unto your servant. You did give unto me all that I asked from you, so that I lacked nothing. And you did afterward say unto me, Return to your parents and to your birthplace, and I will still do well with you. And now that I have come, and you did deliver me from Lavan, I shall fall in the hands of Esau, who will slay me, yea, together with the mothers of my children. Now therefore, O Yahuwah Elohim, deliver me, I pray you, also from the hands of my brother Esau, for I am greatly afraid of him. And if there is no righteousness in me, do it for the sake of Avraham, and my father, Yitzchak. For I know that through kindness and mercy have I acquired this wealth. Now therefore I beseech you to deliver me this day with your kindness and to answer me. And Yaakov ceased praying to Yahuwah, and he divided the people that were with him with the flocks and cattle, into two camps, and he gave the half to the care of Damasech, the son of Eliezer, Abraham's servant, for a camp with his children, and the other half he gave to the care of his brother Eli Anach, the son of Eliezer, to be for a camp with his children. And he commanded them, saying, Keep yourselves at a distance with your camps, and do not come too near each other. And if Esau come to one camp and slay it, the other camp at a distance from it will escape. And Yaakov tarried there that night, and during the whole night he gave his servants instructions concerning the forces and his children. And Yahuwah heard the prayer of Yaakov on that day. And Yahuwah then delivered Yaakov from the hands of his brother Esau. And Yahuwah sent three angels of the angels of heaven. And they went before Esau and came to him. And these angels appeared unto Esau and his people as two thousand men, riding upon horses, furnished with all sorts of war instruments. And they appeared in the sight of Esau and all his men to be divided into four camps, with four chiefs to them. And one camp went on, and they found Esau coming with four hundred men, toward his brother Yaakov, and this camp ran toward Esau and his people and terrified them. And Esau fell off the horse in alarm, and all his men separated from him in that place, for they were greatly afraid. And the whole of the camp shouted after them 
when they fled from Esau. And all the warlike men answered, saying, Surely we are the servants of Yaakov, who is the servant of Elohim. And who then can stand against us? And Esau said unto them, O oh, then, my lord and brother, Yaakov is your lord, whom I have not seen for these twenty years, and now that I have this day come to see him, do you treat me in this manner? And the angels answered him, saying, As Yahuwah lives, were not Yaakov, of whom you speak, your brother, we had not let one remaining from you and your people. But only on account of Yaakov will, rather, we will do nothing to them. And this camp passed from Esau and his men, and it went away. And Esau and his men had gone from them about a league when the second camp came toward him with all sorts of weapons. And they also did unto Esau and his men as the first camp had done to them. And when they had left it to go on, behold, the third camp came toward him, and they were all terrified, and Esau fell off the horse. And the whole camp cried out and said, Surely we are the servants of Yaakov, who is the servant of Elohim. And who can stand against us? And Esau again answered them, saying, O oh, then, Yaakov, my lord, and your lord is my brother. And for twenty years I have not seen his countenance. And hearing this day that he was coming, I went this day to meet him. And do you treat me in this manner? And they answered him and said unto him, as Yahuwah lives, were not Yahuwah your brother, as you did say, we had not left a remnant from you and your men. But on account of Yahuwah, of whom you speak, being your brother, we will not meddle with you or your men. And the third camp also passed from them, and he still continued his road with his men, toward Yaakov, when the fourth camp came toward him. And they also did unto him and his men, as the others had done. And when Esau beheld the evil which the four angels had done to him and to his men, he became greatly afraid of his brother Yaakov, and he went to meet him in peace. And Esau concealed his hatred against Yaakov because he was afraid of his life on account of his brother Yaakov and because he imagined that the four camps that he had lighted upon were Yaakov's servants. And Yaakov tarried that night with his servants in the camps. And he resolved with his servants to give unto Esau a present from all that he had with him. And from all his property. And Yaakov rose up in the morning, he and his men, and they chose from amongst the cattle a present from Esau. And this is the amount of the present which Yaakov chose from his flock to give unto his brother Esau. And he selected two hundred and forty head from the flocks. And he selected from the camels and asses thirty each. And of the herds he chose fifty kine. And he put them all in ten droves, and he placed each sort by itself. And he delivered them into the hands of ten of his servants, each drove by itself. And he commanded them, and said unto them, Keep yourselves at a distance from each other, and put a space between the droves. And when Esau and those who are with him shall meet you and ask you, saying, Whose are you, and whither do you go? 
And to whom belongs all this before you? You shall say unto them, We are the servants of Yaakov, and we come to meet Esau in peace. And behold, Yaakov comes behind us. And that which is before us is a present sent from Yaakov to his brother Esau. And if they shall say unto you, Why does he delay behind you from coming to meet his brother and to see his face? Then you shall say unto them, Surely he comes joyfully behind us to meet his brother, for he said, I will appease him with the present that goes to him. And after this I will see his face, perchance he will accept of me. So the whole present passed on in the hands of his servants, and went before him on that day. And he lodged that night with his camps by the border of the brook of Yebach. And he rose up in the midst of the night, and he took his women and his maidservants and all belonging to him. And he that night passed them over the ford, Yebach. And when he passed all belonging to him over the brook, Yaakov was left by himself, and a man met him. And he wrestled with him that night until the breaking of the day. And the hollow of Yaakov's thigh was out of joint through wrestling with him. And at the break of day, the man left Yaakov there, and he blessed him and went away. And Yaakov passed the brook at the break of day, and he halted upon his thigh. And the sun rose upon him when he had passed the brook, and he came up to the place of his cattle and children, and they went on till midday. And while they were going, the present was passing on before them. And Yaakov lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau was at a distance, coming along with many men, about four hundred. And Yaakov was greatly afraid of his brother. And Yaakov hastened and divided his children unto his women and his handmaids. And his daughter Dina he put in a chest and delivered her into the hands of his servants. And he passed before his children and women to meet his brother and he bowed down to the ground. Yea, he bowed down seven times until he approached his brother. And Elohim caused Yaakov to find grace and favor in the sight of Esau and his men. For Elohim had heard the prayer of Yaakov, and the fear of Yaakov and his terror fell upon his brother Esau, for Esau was greatly afraid of Yaakov for what the angels of Elohim had done to Esau. And Esau's anger against Yaakov was turned into kindness. And when Esau saw Yaakov running toward him, he also ran toward him, and he embraced him, and he fell upon his neck, and they kissed and they wept. And Elohim put fear and kindness toward Yaakov in the hearts of the men that came with Esau. And they also kissed Yaakov and embraced him. And also Eliphaz, the son of Esau, with his four brothers, sons of Esau, wept with Yaakov, and they kissed him and embraced him. For the fear of Yaakov had fallen upon them all. And Esau lifted up his eyes and saw the women with their offspring, the children of Yaakov, walking behind Yaakov and bowing along the road to Esau. 
And Esau said unto Yaakov, Who are these with you, my brother? Are they your children or your servants? And Yaakov answered Esau and said, They are my children, which Elohim has graciously given to your servant. And while Yaakov was speaking to Esau and his men, Esau beheld the whole camp. And he said unto Yaakov, Whence do you, did you get the whole of the camp that I met yesternight? And Yaakov said, to find favor in the sight of my Lord. It is that which Elohim graciously gave to your servant. And the present came before Esau, and Yaakov pressed Esau, saying, Take, I pray you, the present that I have brought to my Lord. And Esau said, Wherefore is this my purpose? Keep that which you have unto yourself. And Yaakov said, it is incumbent upon me to give all this, since I have seen your face, that you still live in peace. And Esau refused to take the present. And Yaakov said unto him, I beseech you, my lord, if now I have found favor in your sight, then receive my present at my hand. For I have therefore seen your face, as though I had seen an Elohim-like face because you were pleased with me. And Esau took the present, and Yaakov also gave unto Esau silver and gold and bedalim, for he pressed him so much that he took them. And Esau divided the cattle that were in the camp, and he gave the half to the men who had come with him, for they had come on hire. And the other half he delivered unto the hands of his children. And the silver and gold and bedalium he gave in the hands of Eliphaz, his eldest son. And Esau said unto Yaakov, Let us remain with you, and we will go slowly along with you, until you come to my place with me, that we may dwell there together. And Yaakov answered his brother and said, I would do as my Lord speaks unto me, but my Lord knows that the children are tender and the flocks and herds with their young who are with me. But rather go, but slowly, for if they went swiftly, they would all die. For you know their burdens and their fatigue. Therefore, let my Lord pass on before his servant, and I will go on slowly for the sake of the children and the flock, until I come to my Lord's place, to Seir. And Esau said unto Yaakov, I will place with you some of the people that are with me to take care of you in the road and to bear your fatigue and burden. And he said, What needs it, my Lord, if I may find grace in your sight? Behold, I will come unto you to Seir, to dwell there together as you have spoken. Go you then with your people, for I will follow you. And Yaakov said this to Esau, in order to remove Esau and his men from him, so that Yaakov might afterward go to his father's house, to the land of Canaan. And Esau hearkened to the voice of Yaakov, and Esau returned with the four hundred men that were with him on their road to Seir. And Yaakov and all belonging to him went that day as far as the extremity of the land of Canaan, in its borders, and he remained there some time.